Hello again YouTube. Uh, before I make my video about the evidence for evolution, there's a few more little misunderstandings and things that I just want to shed some light on. And I know they must be just honest misunderstandings because no God-fearing creationist would ever, ever lie or deceive people just to propagate their worldview now, would they? Enough face stuff, time for some voiceover and pretty pictures. So the first thing I want to address is that the theory of evolution is completely separate to the origin of the universe. That's the realm of cosmogenesis. Trying to disprove evolution by saying it can't explain how the universe got here is like saying a pen can't write when you've been trying to use it as a pogo stick. Now, about our good friend the uh, crocodile. To think there should be a crocodile is like saying there should be some sort of hybrid between me and my cousin in the same generation. Evolution can be depicted as a massive family tree with common ancestors linking each species if you go back far enough. So to use the cousin example, go back one generation, you have our respective fathers. Go back one more and you get our common ancestors, our grandparents. This also illustrates why we coexist with chimpanzees, for example. I've heard the argument that if we evolved from apes, why are there still apes? We're both modern species that share a common ancestor. When you understand that evolution can essentially be illustrated as a giant family tree, altering and amplifying certain traits from generation to generation, it becomes a lot less convoluted and unbelievable than those opposing it would have you think. It's like those photo a day videos that you might have seen on YouTube, where if you compared the faces of two consecutive days, there'd be little difference, but the first and last frames are noticeably dissimilar. In evolution, each photo represents a generation within a species, each grey hair or extra wrinkle, a genetic mutation. Breeders have been doing this for years to produce species with favourable characteristics, like increased muscle mass in Belgian blue cows. They take males and females with the trait they want to amplify and make sure offspring displaying that trait breed next. Nature does the same, but way more slowly. So yeah, they're the most common misunderstandings that I hear, um, so hopefully they're kind of clarified and out of the way now. Um, my last little two cents would be, if someone's trying to disprove evolution to you and what they're saying about it sounds like absolute nonsense and a load of rubbish, chances are they're either bullshitting you or they don't really know what they're talking about. So just have a little look around and keep an open mind and find things out for yourself. That's me done.